Hey, good evening. Uh, Mark Overman here. Uh, we currently live in Plainfield, New Hampshire, and uh, a retired businessman, grew up in the trades, uh, was a licensed electrician for a while, and uh, know how to do plumbing and carpentry and uh, other, other types of woodwork and uh, that sort of thing. And uh, we've been retired now for 10 years and uh, gradually, oh, two and a half, three years ago, I began to notice that uh, my memory wasn't uh, quite as good as it should be. And uh, the morning that I get up and couldn't remember where my cereal box was, we realized that we had a problem and uh, got an appointment with our doctor and visited with her and after a couple of visits uh, my wife got an email from her and the final line was uh, our goal is to keep him independent as long as possible and uh, that sort of scared me being a uh, person of faith we spent uh, quite a lot of time in prayer and uh, asking some serious questions. And for Christmas, we had gotten a copy of Dr. B's book on fiber fuel, and that was in the middle of COVID. And so we weren't having a Christmas together, but luckily we were online. And my daughter saw that. And then she got an ad online for uh, Alzheimer's 30 Days by the Shares Eyes, referenced by Dr. B, and she knew that we had that book and liked it, so she sent us that ad. And we got that book, and they said that although you can't cure full-blown Alzheimer's, once it sets in, it's too late um, so far. But uh, if you're in the mild cognitive impairment in those early stages, why well, changing your diet can do a lot for you. And the biggest thing you need to do is get rid of all animal products of every sort, all meat, all dairy, chickens, eggs, and we were, had grown up in the traditional American style of eating lots of meat and drinking lots of good milk and having good eggs. And so we quit overnight and gave things out and threw it away and got it out of the house. And uh, then we went to the grocery store not knowing even what things looked like that we wanted to buy. We had a name, sometimes we had a picture on a smartphone. And uh, the, the other thing we realized, looking at photographs on, uh, on uh, phones and iPads of, uh, of a trip we'd taken to see uh, family in Chile and the vacations other places that I had lost, we're still not sure exactly how much, four or five years of uh, recent long-term memory. And they're still completely gone to this day. I look at those photos and it's like I've been photoshopped into them. If you go back further, my memory's fine. It's like a file drawer I got thrown out and I wasn't making long-term memories apparently. And uh, within literally within three weeks to a month of going plant-based, uh, we were on it. We, I drove down to a, a sort of a normal uh, uh, spring vacation trip to the Outer Banks and I still remember that trip sitting here today, two and a half years later. I started making new memories within 30 days, and I'm still uh, very independent. We've lost another 20 pounds or 25 pounds of weight. Uh, my blood pressure, which has been high forever, um, has dropped 20 points. I'm basically rattling right around 120 over 120 over 70 now. So, uh, and uh, the, of course, another part of of what you do for your brain is exercise. You got to get that circulation going. And uh, with a Peloton in the house now, why we get our exercise daily. And uh, I now have, uh, we've got lowered, like I say, lowered blood pressure. And my resting heart rate's in the mid 40s now because of the changes that we've made. Under the Shares Eyes instruction, like I said, we, we read their books, we listened to their. Uh, lectures along with a lot of other doctors, but there's just no question about the fact that even though me as an individual this is an anecdote, which you can't take anything on the face value of one person, mm -hmm. why at the same time it definitely works for one person and it works for one person at a time. Yeah. So uh, this is just a, a story that needs to get out.
that their food is medicine, you know, and, and uh, people should believe it and go for it. Incredible. Wow. Thanks so much for sharing. I'm kind of curious. Uh, so when you went plant-based, what did you remove um, from your diet specifically? Was it just meat, eggs, and dairy, or was there other stuff too? That was, that was primarily it. Like I say, we, you know, I'd, I would shop weekly at a butcher shop and we'd get, uh, you know, some of the finest, of course, uh, you know, hamburger and, and, you know, pork chops and chicken breast. And we'd go to a local farm and usually get skim milk, but it was whole milk. And I grew up, we always had chickens at home. We grew up with, you know, eggs and, and you know, chicken meat. But uh, to, get, to get rid of all the animal protein and the things that come along for the ride and to replace that with, with the plant protein and adding all the nuts and seeds and spices that, you know, make food taste good, but give you all the, the micronutrients that really make a a huge difference wow. in, in health. We've had uh, COVID, um, well, getting, getting the, the shots for it, we had almost no reaction to it. Mm -hmm. And we've had COVID and it was like a mild cold for a couple of days. You really didn't get, uh, really didn't get sick at all. Did you notice any other changes? Lost weight, the, the, let's say the primary health concern was lowering the blood pressure. Mm -hmm. um, you know, our energy level is, uh, you know, better, but a lot of that comes from the, the, the good habits of, the, of having a daily exercise yeah. as well as the, the better fuel in your body. So it's, uh, How long did you wait before you implemented the exercise? Um, not too much. We'd always done a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was just a case of, of doing a, a little bit more, making it, uh, you know, making a little more of an effort. The uh, shares eyes neuro plan why the uh, the nutrition is first, but exercise is second. They're almost equal. That you need better fuel, but you need to to get that circulation going as well. Yeah. And now, because you said within three weeks you started noticing a difference. Had you changed your exercise routine, or was it only? No, no. That was that was that was really as a as a as a big result of the diet. I, you know, the we hadn't really implemented. You know, I mean, we were doing things, but not, hadn't been doing them long enough to make much difference. What does yeah. your doctor think of this? Um, they surprisingly don't have a lot to say about it. They say, oh, you're doing well, you know, and that's about it. Oh. You know, you're, you're doing, hey, you're, you're a little better on your cognitive test. You get that little test where they give you the three words or five or whatever, and then they you got to draw a clock and then you got to tell them the words again. And they say, oh, you're doing a little better than you did last year, you know, but that's, that's a, you know, they, they don't uh, um, follow it backwards to acknowledge the uh, change that they see. But uh, yeah, um, cool. yeah. yeah it's, it's interesting, you know, as, as time goes on, I mean, our friends have been watching us. They don't, uh, they haven't uh, changed their diet like ours, but, uh, you know, they're, at least they're, the same. they're watching. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And they say, you know, it must be it must be working for you, you know, and yeah. they say, oh, yeah, it is. So. Well, I just happened upon you here at the Loving Hut. Yeah. I, I, I was like, <laughs> just curious, did, are you, were you all at the Ethos Farm event? Because I, everybody else in here, prior to you coming in here, had been. And, oh. <laughs> and we just got to chatting about it, and you guys are going to be there tomorrow, and you're excited about seeing them. We emailed and said we were going to stop in, and so she said, well, be sure you... Uh, look us up, we oh. want to say hi. So they're going to make themselves available and uh, that's terrific. Yeah, they're, they're amazing, amazing people. Do you have a quote you want to share? I hadn't really, hadn't really thought of it. Probably, the, probably some of uh, Dean's work about developing habits that, you know, you got you to gotta do things in a consistent manner and uh, develop those habits and they'll, they'll pull you through. The kind of foods that you're eating now mostly, is it, is it like Beans, greens, grains, fruits, veggies, mushrooms, nuts, seeds, herbs, spices, stuff like that. Yeah, all, all of those, all of those. Yeah, we <laughs> we tend to have the the overnight oatmeal for breakfast yeah. with, uh, and that has I, I load mine up with extra nuts and seeds and fruit on that. Mm -hmm. uh, lunchtime is a, usually a, a salad with uh, some extra 
tempo protein and other other things built into it, but a, but a, a large salad at lunchtime. And then dinner, we slack off, you know, we lighten up the portion, have a little smaller dinner. And, uh, you know, that's when you get a, a greater variety of, of things. It's all out of that group. Dr. B says you're supposed to get, what, 30 a day. And or we're, a week or we're, we're, nah, we're well past that every day, you nice. know, we get, yeah. That's at first, you know, when I heard that 30, I was, it seems like a lot, but then it's like when you start well, you counting, start adding them like, up, oh. you get half of that just at breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> are there any specific foods that are like really advantageous for the brain? Like I've heard blueberries, for example. Well, blue, blue, blueberries are good. The dark leafy greens are good. I mean, it's, I, mean, I, I, I don't really know. I think my situation was probably uh, circulation mm -hmm. and you've got, what do they say, 400 miles of micro arteries in your brain and they're so small that they'll get plugged very easily and uh, the the dark leafy greens are what uh, what aid circulation yeah. and the nitric uh, oxide or yeah something. exactly <laughs> exactly the nitrous oxide producers are you supplementing maybe uh some b12 and oh, oh sure and uh maybe some are you doing fatty acid supplements too or no um a little bit but prim primarily b12 and a couple of general a couple of general vitamins and our daughter's an optometrist and she recommended uh you know the Multi special special multivitamins yeah. that have the the special in uh ingredients for the for your eyes so to keep her happy we go along with that and the other things are water solubles anyway so if you get too much you just get rid of it now but is any of this ethical for you um very little you know that you know like i say we are we are people of faith but you know we uh, um that wasn't our prime motivation i think it's terrific obviously i mean we're in that same vein we're not people that want to see animals treated cruelly, whether in experimentation or whether in factory farming. You know, either, either way, it's not, a, not the right way to, uh, to treat animals. And the fact that it's also good for the earth is a good thing. But that's, they say that neither of those were my, my prime motivation. My prime motivation was my brain and uh, doing what needed to be done wow. to uh, keep it alive. And the fact that it's good for everybody at the same time is, is terrific. Yeah, and is your daughter doing this too? Um, they tend to uh, be um, Working quite, quite vegan. Okay. They're, 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 they've, they've recently uh, uh, completely given up alcohol, so they're, oh, okay. they're cleaning their act up nice, a nice, little yeah. bit at a time. Our son has as well, and you know, they, I think he's probably a little more ethical Oh, okay. Direct directed than uh, an earth earth directed oh, than cool. health directed, but it's but it you know it's all three at once. Yeah, you know, man, you just learned a once. lot. You, oh, you yeah. become quite the pro. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Well, I appreciate your time. I know your wife is probably waiting for you to wrap this up, and you guys might be ready for dinner. This is great. We've you know I've I've, uh, I've told the story, published it in uh, our church newsletter, and oh, cool. and that went out online. So we spread that to people who knows where things go once they get out in the, the digital world. But, uh, do, you have a, do you have like an online presence at all? I don't, no, no, no. But, yeah, that'll uh, probably help you live longer too. <laughs> <laughs> if we stay away from it, I, yeah. I believe it will. You're very welcome. Congratulations. Yes, sir. <laughs> You're very welcome.